Despite the rather dour nature of some titles on the market today, especially those that focus on death, social decay, and more downers than would fit into We Happy Few, video games at their core are meant to be enjoyable experiences, right? And you don't get much more positive and happy than when titles throw their serious hat out of the window and pop on their much more over-the-top silly hat. And there is no better expression of this rather laboured metaphor than when it comes to joke weapons. So let's take a look at them as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are eight joke video game weapons that destroyed video games. Number 8. The Real Mega Man Buster – Dead Rising now, the Dead Rising series is no stranger to joke weapons. In fact, you could well argue that its lineage and durability within the industry is based on the horror shows that you can cobble together to dismember the undead in painful and painfully funny ways. You've got your classics like the Drill Bucket, the Roaring Thunder, and of course, the Dildo Launcher. But to be honest, I'm not sure if these combo weapons should actually count for this list, as it's technically two weapons that you're fusing together. How about instead that we jump all the way back to the original game and take a look at the Mega Buster? Now, the original Dead Rising was devoid of combo weapons, and as such, its range of items to slay the undead with was much smaller and slightly more serious. Therefore, the ability to unlock the real Mega Buster was not only hilarious, but it utterly broke the game in half. Psychopaths could be taken down within seconds of sustained fire, and zombies couldn't even get close enough to try to bite you with one of these equipped. It was as hilarious to use as it was utterly devastating. Number 7. The Wabberjack The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim how can you not love Shea Gorath from the Elder Scrolls series? This Daedric Prince of Mischief is the literal definition of a cheeky whippet, usually only inserting himself into the affairs of humans in order to make their lives much worse, or at the very least, significantly more surreal. Gifted to the players after completing The Mind of Madness, which itself is an utterly brilliant piece of content, the Wabberjack is quite possibly the best weapon in the entire game about 5% of the time. You see, the Wabberjack's true skill is that it can quite literally do everything. It can change the weather, it can turn enemies into ash piles, it can shrink people, it can duplicate things, it can even turn your foes into cheese. However, the downside is, is that you absolutely have no control over what and when it does things. This can result in the Dragonborn obliterating tough enemies one minute and then accidentally healing them the other. To be honest, it's not the type of weapon that you should or even can build around, but it is a joy to use each and every time you bring it to battle. Number 6. The Groovatron – Ratchet & Clank Franchise in the Ratchet and Clank series, joke weapons are pretty much par for the course, with at least a handful being sprinkled into each title. Yet unlike pretty much every other game that uses joke weapons to laugh at the player somewhat, Ratchet and Clank sure does pack these puntastic weapons full of power. I mean, just look at the Groovatron as an example of this. A reoccurring weapon in the series, this weapon releases a disco ball projectile that makes every single enemy on screen dance along to its funky beat. In a monstrously impressive display, the 2016 video games slash movie tie-in slash remake slash what the hell is this game actually made the Groovatron's music match that of the stage perfectly, which is just so sumptuous that I can't even begin to tell you how much I love it. While locked in this state of disco fever, the Groovatron renders every enemy open to attack, and because this also works on bosses as well, you can make pretty short work of, well, pretty much everyone who tries to attack you. Making this even better, if that's even possible, is the fact that some games allow the Groovatron to be upgraded to the groovy bomb, which causes the disco ball to explode after use, cutting through enemies as they cut the rug. Number 5. Mr. Toots Red Faction Armageddon you can't really have a list of overpowered weapons without immediately thinking of Mr. Toots, can you? I mean, it's pretty much the perfect storm of banter and utter bananas that must have been an absolute treat to have come up with in a pitch meeting. Just imagine this. Alright gang, Red Faction was all done and dusted. We've got some time to add in a few joke weapons, just for fun. What ideas do we have? Um, I don't know, what about a, a unicorn shooting a giant laser from its ass while looking very uncomfortable doing it? Make it so. Like, how do you actually top this weapon? Oh, I know, you make the aforementioned rainbow laser by a death beam of devastating proportions able to topple entire buildings in mere moments. That is how, God bless you, Mr. Toots. Number 4. Akiko's Frying Pan – Fantasy Star Online if there's one thing the world learned upon the arrival of Player Unknown's Battleground, it's that while bullets and high-caliber rifles are going to definitely help you out no end, the humble frying pan, or butt pan as it came to be known, was the real star of the show. Clattering your enemies and then cooking bacon off of their seething hatred for you was utterly delicious. However, Fantasy Star Online was cooking up a storm with weapons 
pans of this ilk years prior puns I've got them. Akiko's frying pan is the stuff of fantasy star legend. As to say that a giant cooking instrument being the reward for a lengthy series of side quests being a bit of a shock to the community is quite the understatement. Still, for those worried that its stats would be of the non-stick variety, they need not have been worried as this pan punches with the might of a thousand suns, and while making your sci-fi infused character look hilarious, will be able to bash the spines out of your enemies before you even have time to scream, ORDER UP! Number 3. The Scrambler – Enter the Gungeon now, to be clear, Enter the Gungeon has a ton of weapons that you could term as being jokey in that they either offer ridiculous over-the-top features or are sly references to pop culture events. Yet, of all of them, one stood out as being especially brilliant because in the right hands and with the right combination of items, it can utterly destroy bosses. I'm speaking, of course, about the Scrambler, an ovum-centric shooter that will leave enemies with more than just egg on their faces as it will quite possibly reduce them to bubbling matter after a few rounds. Basically, Based on the game's flare gun, the scrambler fires out a single eggy projectile, but as soon as the shell cracks open on a wall or an enemy, it erupts into smaller bullets that then home in on your opponents. This feature alone makes it a brilliant weapon because you can just focus on dodging projectiles while unleashing wave after wave of your own without the need for silly things like accuracy. However, if you have items like the pig or the weird egg, then you can buff this bad boy even further. The pig, for example, increases the shooting speed, and the weird egg gives you poison damage. Damage. This can turn any boss inside out within moments with the right build, and definitely puts the fungeon back in the dungeon. Number 2. All of the Joke Weapons – Tales of Symphonia Tales of Symphonia is a truly masterful example of how to refine the classic JRPG tropes. It's got exceptionally fun combat, high fantasy guff, and some truly lovable characters that all combine to create a title that, while receding into the public consciousness somewhat, is still a shining gem of the genre. It's also a title that doesn't take itself too seriously, being rife with humorous moments. But one of the funniest things about this title are the joke weapons that you can purchase in Lewin, and trust me, you'll be having the last laugh for sure while wielding them in battle. Now, poor old Lewin is in a bit of a state when you first arrive, with the town being in desperate need of repair, and as such, you can donate a rather hefty sum of gald to get it back up and running. Should you pitch in with the repair fund, then eventually the town will return to its former glory, opening up their joke weapons for purchase in the nearby shop. And trust me, you'll want to spend even more cash on the likes of a plastic toy dagger or a big bag of coins, because in conjunction with some rather impressive base stats, each weapon offers unique buffs that enhance the party to some pretty ridiculous extremes. While some other weapons might offer better flat damage, the boost to luck will certainly help with stealing items or doubling the cash that you get after battles, and all will make late-game enemies look like utter jokes. And number 1. The Wooden Sword – Ninja Gaiden when you step into the world of pain that is Ninja Gaiden for the original Xbox, you might feel like your very soul is ejected forcefully from your body with the game's first flurry of hits, because this does not mess around. You thought that your Dark Souls fat rolling skills were impressive? Ninja Gaiden laughs at you as it rams a broom handle down your throat and uses you to clean its toilets. In fact, these won't be the only splinters that you'll be removing from your body thanks to the title's infamous wooden sword. Now, In a game which actively punishes you for every single mistake that you make, the wooden sword sticks out as an absolute joke weapon for the simple fact that using it in combat is akin to throwing wadded up balls of paper at an asteroid made of hate, and you will learn the hard way to sack off this stinky stick in short order. However, before you think of converting it into a table leg or something actually useful, if you were to invest in upgrading the weapon to max, then suddenly it transforms into the unlabored flawlessness, the best weapon in the game, and this will finally allow you to break a handle off inside your enemy. Enemies. Yeah, mate, how do you like it? But yeah, it does take a bit of work to get going. And there we go, my friends. Those were eight joke video game weapons that destroyed video games. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. That's Dice with a C, where I do all of my streaming outside of work, and it'd be great to see you over there, my friends. But before I go, just want to say one thing. Hope you're treating yourself well. Hope you're treating yourself with love and respect because you bloody well deserve both of those things, all right? We all do as human beings and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise. You are not a joke. You are never a joke. You are a big ledge. Now go out there and smash it, my friend. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.